Hello and welcome back friends. Uh, welcome to another video from Shamus Biology and in this quick short video I'll be talking about the different types of chromatography that we know of and in future videos we'll be talking about each of the individual type of chromatography in more details. So this uh, chromatography techniques can be divided based on many different parameters and stuff okay. Uh, but majorly here we divide them based on uh, the type of solvent that we use, uh, the phase of the solvent because the phase could be solid or it could be liquid or it could be gas. So depending upon the phase of the solvent that we use and also the phase of uh, both our uh, separation stage as well as the mobile phase we we. Uh, determine the different types of chromatography. Now in any type of chromatography the idea is very simple it depends on the phase separation. The phase separation works in a way say there are two different phases always present one is called the stationary phase which is kind of stagnant which is fixed it's known as the stationary phase. Another phase is known as the mobile phase where the molecules move in either direction it depends on how you run the, run the process. So this is known as the mobile phase. So two different phases are present and these are the two phases but in among both these phases the molecule that we want to separate because the chromatography technique is all about separation of molecules uh, based on their multiple properties like charge, their size and stuff and we can separate molecules uh, using this phase variance because as these are the two different phases and they are changed uh, difference between the phase and different molecules are present different molecules will interact with this phase separations in different manner and that will allow the molecules to be separated from each other. So in this case the stationary phase could be solid or liquid while the mobile phase can be either liquid or gaseous. So it depends on what kind of combination we have uh, among them and that will ultimately give us the name of different types of chromatography techniques. For example, if we can divide the chromatography based on the three different major phases like gas chromatography, liquid chromatography and supercritical fluid chromatography. Now gas chromatography means the molecules that we want to separate will be in the gaseous form while liquid chromatography means the molecules we want to separate will be in the liquid form. Now the liquid form of the molecules could be either aqueous solution or organic solution either those molecules can be present in the water as aqueous solution or they can be produced uh, I mean present in the organic uh, solutions for the liquid type. Now for the aqueous type the example is HPLC high pressure liquid chromatography. Now in HPLC technique the molecules are present in the aqueous solution while in the organic solvent type the example is thin layer chromatography TLC or paper chromatography right these are the organic solvent type and finally the supercritical fluid in certain kinds of fluids are present which we cannot deal with either liquid or in the gaseous stage because they carry uh, too many different types of molecules as a mixture we call them supercritical fluid and for the separation of supercritical fluid we have different approach completely that we don't want to talk about much here majorly we talk about gas and liquid chromatography. So in gas chromatography we are separating gaseous molecules from each other mixture of gases will separate from each other and there are two different types here is a gas liquid chromatography and a gas solid chromatography. Now gas liquid chromatography means the gas uh, we separate gas molecules, so mixture of gases and we put them in the mobile phase. So mobile phase is consisting of gaseous molecules. This is the mobile phase and the stationary phase will be liquid, okay. The gas solid chromatography, in gas solid chromatography the mobile phase will be gases because that's what we need to separate from each other and the solid and the stationary phase will be the solid uh, molecules, okay, solid interacting with the gases. Now in the liquid chromatography if we bring there are different types like ion exchange chromatography, exclusion chromatography and another type is known as a partition chromatography or absorption chromatography which is also known as organic solvent related chromatography. Now in this case of ion exchange chromatography and, and molecular exclusion chromatography, ion exchange chromatography in this case what we use, we use uh, the stationary phase solid and the mobile phase liquid. 
in exclusion chromatography also same thing solid stationary phase mobile phase liquid okay but the separation technique is different in case of ion exchange chromatography we separate hydrophilic molecules or polar molecules and we separate charged molecules we exchange charged molecules between each other while in the molecular exclusion chromatography we separate proteins or other molecules based on their size and hydrodynamic volume what is hydrodynamic volume and how this exclusion chromatography works how ion exchange chromatography works you definitely need to know them and please know them by watching my videos the links are provided in the description as well as you can find those videos in my channel you can search it you will get the playlist of the chromatography videos uh, the link is provided again in the description so watch all the videos for better understanding while in the other hand the organic sol solution or solvent type of chromatography two different examples partition chromatography and L liquid uh, sorbent absorption chromatography liquid solid absorbent so in this case of both of the chromatographies uh, we use certain molecules in both this case we use dried uh, molecules with dried liquid now normally in ion exchange chromatography or exclusion chromatography we use uh, raw liquid solutions in the mixture let's say protein mixture it contains in the liquid solution completely liquid solution filled with different types of proteins we separate them both in ion exchange as well as in the exclusion chromatography while in these two types we use dried liquid okay dried liquid means we take the drop of liquid we put it uh, in a paper or in either silica plate or something and we allow that liquid to get dried and that is dried liquid so once that liquid is dried then we apply some some organic solvent to take up that uh, different fractions of uh, the molecules that are present in the in, in the dried liquid and to be separated the examples are paper chromatography and thin layer chromatography or tlc in both the cases we use dried liquid as a solvent as an elutant and then we separate them using the chromatography so it's not pure liquid or dried liquid still we put them in the liquid phase of chromatography and we talked about the supercritical fluid so this in a sense is all the different types of chromatography that we know of so for any type of chromatography you should know about what is the elutant type whether it's gas or liquid normally the elutants that we use uh, can be the mobile phase most of the time in some cases it's not in some cases we need to use something different for example in case of partition chromatography and the LS absorbent chromatography like TLC in these two cases we cannot use those uh, we, the, the dried liquid that we use is the elutant but the mobile phase is different here is the mobile phase or uh, the organic solvent that we use okay so that is uh, the idea in this case so that in a sense is a type of chromatography and I hope you like the video if you like the video please hit the like button and definitely click on the subscribe button to subscribe to my channel to get more videos like that thank you